was between 7th and 8th Street on Wall Street in the downtown Los Angeles flower market. We've been there for six years now. Um, we've been uh, just cooking up a breakfast storm for everyone that wants and buys flowers. Awesome. What is your uh, most popular breakfast dish? So we're known for a couple things. We make everything in-house from scratch. So our pulled pork cash with our house-made brick hash, they are beautiful, nice bricks of potato topped with uh, oh, awesome. our house-made pulled pork. It's one of our signature dishes, but also anything fried chicken. Fried chicken omelet, Ooh, yeah. fried chicken sandwich. That's what we do best. Awesome. And how have things been going? I know it's a really challenging time for restaurants right now. It, it's been a learning curve, but... Um, Downtown LA has been a huge fan and our clients and our guests that patron our restaurant have been going strong. So thank you to everyone that's been dining at Poppy and Rose. We appreciate your support. You know, it's been amazing. Great. All right. Well, now it looks like it's cocktail time. Um, tell us a bit about the drink we're going to be making tonight. So we're going to pair this, this dish with um, a basically a Moscow spritzer. Um, so we got mm -hmm. our Moscow. We have our wonderful mineral mountain spring water that's infused with peaches. We're going to be using these peaches that we got from Regier Farm at the farmer's market on Wednesday. A little bit of Ooh, awesome. and a ton of fresh herbs. So we're going to muddle some mint into there. It's going to be amazing, light, great for summer. Cool. It's, it's prime time for peaches right now, I would imagine. That it is. So, um, and and how does the uh, Mountain Valley white peach sparkling water work in the cocktail? What do you... It, so it's I don't think a lot of people always think of it for cocktails. As a spritzer, you're looking for that minerality that Mountain Valley has. Um, mm -hmm. Going with this peach cocktail, we're basically using their white peach infused water, which is going to reinforce that beautiful summer peach that we're using for the cocktail. And it's going to bring out... The, it's going to complement this mascal really well because it's not too smoky, but mm -hmm. just enough where it's an underlay and it's going to be super light. You won't even know that you're drinking a cocktail. <laughs> I can get dangerous. Um, and what kind of mascal are you using? Do you have a favorite mascal? I don't have a, like, I'm more of a bourbon drinker, but mm -hmm. mascal and peaches to me are a perfect combination, especially for grilling because you got that smokiness going on. Totally. Okay. Awesome. I'll let you get to it. I'm going to have a little bit of water while. So we're going to start real simple. We're going to take a peach. We're going to pour it out. So for each cocktail, you're going to need a quarter of the peach. Just thinly sliced. Um, any, any amazing secret chef tricks to working with peaches, cutting, slicing, dicing them? sharp knife just always have a sharp knife that's always a good um and those of you following along at home if you have any questions um for the chef feel free to type them into your chat box and i will um get them to him so then we have the peach we have the mint right we're gonna measure out the tasco so 2.5 ounces of mascal Three dashes of the bitters. Great. What kind of bitters are you using? Just amaretto. Okay. Just simple, clean, classic bitters. Nothing special. Everything that usually you have at your home bar. Right. And we're going to open up the Poppy Rose Peach Jam. We're going to put the two ounces of the peach jam that came in the kit for those that you were lucky enough to get the kit. I was. How do you guys, um, any any special way you make your jam or any? Uh, you, buy, you buy the fruit in season. Mm -hmm. It's the most important part. Right, add some ice. Okay. Um, I feel like ice is a thing a lot of people kind of neglect with home cocktails. Do you, you know, do you recommend using a mineral water to make your ice or? You know, not just using whatever your, you know, fridge, we're, your fridge we're is making. We're freezing the still water for just straight cubes. For this cocktail, you could take the Mountain Valley um, peach mineral water and freeze those into cubes. 
and they'll do the same thing and they're just gonna reinforce that flavor that's going on. Oh, that's a smart idea. Yeah. You know, you have everything in the shaker right now. You have mm -hmm. the mascal, you have the peaches, you have the mint, you have the lime juice, the, am the bitters in there. We're gonna be some pleasure with that. Well, I've got my shaker too. Give it a good shake. Just let it sit there, let it marinate. We're gonna take this other half of this peach. Just slice it real thin. I'm gonna show you how to put this into a glass. I see. I see you're using a mason jar, the classic summery outdoor cocktail glass. It's just wide enough for everything that you need to go in there. So ice, just thinly sliced peaches that are amazing right now. Pop that off with a little bit more ice. That looks great. I'm gonna do mine as well. We're gonna open up the shaker. Grab the strainer. Just pour all that goodness out. So this is the key to the drink right here, because it's a spritzer. Right. The Mountain Valley is what makes it the spritzer part. So you got the peach and the peach. Now you're gonna lighten it up. There you go. Now you have a Ooh. peach mascal spritzer. Ooh, this looks amazing. Oh wow. And you can even keep topping it off with the, the sparkling water if you're trying to not get too crazy. That's delicious. All right. So cheers. Cheers. Enjoy everyone.